Wow, 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 Traveling curiosity. Wow, 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 wow. I did have lunch. Did you try the hot sauce? Yeah, it was spicy. Oh, muy caliente. Oh, man. Good for the blood. Yeah, stay hydrated this afternoon after that. Mm -hmm. Plus what they eat. Yeah. Hola, Michael. Come hey. Stop. Uh, I was just up at the moth sheet taking pictures, mm -hmm. and the bugs up there were so bad. How bad? Well, there were flies, mosquitoes, ants, grasshoppers, hopping bugs everywhere. I can't believe it was any worse than where I was. I was up in the waterfall trail, and it's so damp and muddy and muggy. You know it never dries out in there. There's no sun. It had to be worse where I was. Well, it was sunny where I was at, but the bugs up there, I, I have never seen them any worse. No I think that, way. I think that probably the sunlight draws in, in more you. food uh, for the bugs or something. I'm pretty sure it, there's more bugs where it's sunny. Can't be worse than where I'm All right. right. Well, listen, we can test this using science. Come, check out this video I found. It's a sheet beating method where you can collect the bugs. And we can use this method to figure out who's right. Ooh, sounds like a plan. Yeah. Let's go get Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Hey. You want to help us with an experiment? Sure. What's it about? We're going to see how many different types of invertebrates are in a given area. It's called species richness. Awesome. We sure could use an extra set of hands. Sounds like fun. All right. So we need to come up with a question. Okay. And a hypothesis. All mm -hmm. right. Let's get to work. Okay. Yes. Okay. Our question is, what is the effect of different light intensities on invertebrate species richness? Based on that question, our scientific hypothesis is, different light intensities will cause invertebrate species richness to change due to the relationship between light and food availability. And our statistical hypothesis is different light intensities will cause invertebrate species richness to change. Which makes our null hypothesis invertebrate species richness is not affected by light availability. All right, sounds Let's good. Go Let's go do this
check out our results. As you can see, as light intensity increases, so does invertebrate species richness. Our data points are somewhat scattered, and our R value was 0.3278. This shows about a 33% correlation between light intensity and invertebrate species richness. So while there is a correlation, there are probably other factors involved than just light intensity. Like? Time of day. Temperature. Proximity to water. Symbiotic relationship. Tomorrow we'll go out and we'll test species richness on other types of trees. Sounds good. Yeah. And while we didn't settle our argument, we sure had fun. And we learned some stuff too. That the rainforest is awesome! <laughs> Let's go get dinner.